Real Life Street Stars. We in here with Big Bub, the handler. Hey, man, y'all already know what it is, man. Hold yeah. it down for the whole DF Dub team, man. I am Big Bub, the handler, man. At Big Bub 214, at the handler radio. You know what I'm talking about? Ready. Man, uh, we were just in here chopping it up earlier, man. Give them a little history. A little background history, man. How far back you want me to go? I want you to go back, man. You got, you got, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Souls of sin, man. Uh, 96, 97. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We go way back. We go yeah. way back. Uh, original member of Souls of Sin. Well, original member of Southern Organization. You know what I'm saying? Which was a branch of that with Souls of Sin, which was my fam, bam, uh, uh Big Champagne, uh, uh, OG Grip. Yeah. And um and my partner Sin, you know what I'm saying? White boy Hatcher, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was uh I was a part of that that whole wave, man. I was on uh the get 'em up track, which was the track for the uh radio spins and yeah. it was actually went gold, you know what I'm talking about? It's like yeah. first project that I ever been on went gold. So man, yeah. Just got we, to salute you for that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, I remember back when Master P was looking at us, man, and um Master P was trying to come down and sign us, man, and uh, he wanted to sign our whole clique. We had a clique of damn near 70 individuals, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it was a long time ago, man, but you know, it seemed like it was yesterday, but you know, we yeah. still grinding it out. Salute to the whole uh, PV Road, Pleasant Grove clique, man, John West, PV. That's my Jungle. fam belt, you know what I'm talking about? 16, 15, John West, I will at 2900 PV block, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. It's legendary shit for those who they know, man. Hey, man, 20 plus years winning this thing, man. It's just, you know, that's just where we got started at as far as getting noticed. But we've been doing this, like, I was a kid, got noticed, you know, by, um, um, we were supposed to be on American Bandstand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Me, my bro, and my cousin, man. But, you know, we've been, music has been a part of my family forever. But, yeah. you know, I just had to take another avenue with it because I didn't like the direction where music was going. Oh, uh, really? Uh, when when did you start uh to make different changes in your career? Um, man, that's a good question. Cause you know, changes came about it gradually. You know what I'm saying? It was like a gradual move from, you know, not not getting to the point where I felt like my city was even looked at in a light where we had greatness within us, you know what I'm saying? So I said, well, everybody wanted to be rappers at that time. Everybody named mama, even boys who ain't never rapped before wanted to rap. And I got homeboys, you know, that used to support first and then now, now you know, they want to do what I do, yeah. you know, because they like what what was going on. But at, at some point in it, you know, I saw it and I was like, man, we got too many, too many, um, we got too many people that's, that's followers, so I just thought I just changed lanes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, what what lane did you switch up to? Uh, I've 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 known you to uh, put out a lot of uh, artists and a lot of interviews through radio. Yeah, man. Um, Let's touch on that. Radio, man. Radio came by by accident. I got locked up. Uh, <laughs> I got locked up and uh, I got handled real rough when I got locked up and yes. I didn't have no 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 financial backing enough to go get me some you know uh, repres good representation. Yeah, have and, uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I said, man, when I get up out of here, man, I'm going to school to be a lawyer. And so yeah. when I went to school, my first thing was I was going to school to be a paralegal, but um. I found radio is like they say, hey man, you know we got a radio station. It's dead air. I'm like, y'all playing? Y'all don't know I used to rap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so yeah. that's how that ended up happening. And uh, you know the rap just kind of faded out, and the radio faded in, and promotion, and you know being more part of the community activists and working with the kids. And you know I've always been tight with. Fam bam people like Cotton Mouth Jesse, Hawatha Heard, you know, Pookie Lucha, you know, I've always been fam bam tight with them since the early years yeah. from when we was rapping. So it was just easy for me to gradually bring all the people I knew into the radio. And 
Hey, man, it just turned out to be a lovely thing, man. The universe has been blessing us in so many ways. Already, already, man. And uh, you have a uh, non-profit? Yeah, man, we got, um, yeah, we got uh, Transitions Forward. Yeah. It's a non-profit where we're working with the kids, man. We're about to start working in uh, Sarah Zoom Walk Middle School. Salute mm-hmm. out to the kids at Sarah Zoom Walk. You know what I'm saying? Um, Cliff side. Yeah, Oak yeah. Cliff, Oak Cliff. I went to Sarah Zoom Walk, so yeah. you know what I'm saying? Uh, we, we're doing a mentoring program where we're going to be doing a whole lot of stuff with the kids. It's a lot of it's a lot coming into it, man, and it's yeah. it's been faded into it from, you know, working with the politics and and we've always me and Cottonmouth used to do talent shows. Yeah. You know, when we had our store over there in North Dallas on uh uh, uh Adelia at that at that bazaar. Like now it's a it's actually a uh a a little dance hall where they rent out yeah, space. Yeah. But we started to doing the kids on Fridays, you know, all the kids from, you know, Berkner and all the kids would come up there, you know, we would do tennis shows and yeah. it just didn't work out the way and they took our ideal and built off of it. But you know. Man, man. Salute out to the Chinese, y'all need to cut us a check. <laughs> 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 yeah, so you also uh doing some D I S D work? Yeah, that's what I got with the uh, with Sarah Zoom Walk, man. Working with the kids over there, the mentoring program, man. Um, we just now starting it up. It's it's still fresh. It's still ideas. Anybody want to get involved? Y'all can hit me up on the Handler Radio twenty nine hundred at gmail dot com, or uh, hit me up on Facebook or inbox me on D on DM DM me on uh, IG Twitter. It's at the Handler Radio. You know what I'm saying? It's a good way to get at me. Um, I I got a big team right now, so. Um, one of my team members will be getting back with you if I don't personally. But yeah, man, if y'all can do anything to help the kids out, man, because these kids is um, these kids is what everybody else would call trouble kids. But you know, that's the same, the same thing they called us. Yeah, same <laughs> thing. Yeah. Also working with uh, Democratic Office Elect Eric Wilson. Yeah, Eric Wilson. Eric Wilson is my buddy, man. He's a Democratic Party for the. Uh, Eighth District, I believe, yeah. the South Dallas Oak Cliff area. Yeah. Eric Wilson is. Uh, I was part of his campaign party, and uh, salute out to my brother Daniel Clayton, DC. You know what I'm saying? He the one that brought me in on that whole uh, Democratic Party. You know, at first I was the type of like everybody else. What do my vote matter? Yeah. But you know, I felt like, hey, I could either sit around and complain about it, or I can try to get in the mix with it and try to see what I can find out about it you know what i'm saying and i learned a lot about how the democratic party work it's really let's move on but uh <laughs> I, was you gonna, know. I was gonna ask you uh, who you was gonna vote for who am i gonna vote for uh be honest with you i ain't voting for nobody you know what i'm talking about um it's uh you know I'm real big on knowledge and I'm real big on playing into the playing into the part of um the monkey show or the side show. You know what I'm saying? I'm real big on not being a part of some stuff, some stuff, you know what I'm saying? I support, you know, whatever I can do locally or here within, you know, my circle or the hands that I could reach, but when I start looking at them candidates, man, I just start to laugh. You know what I'm saying? It's a total joke. And we part of the side show. You know what I'm talking about? And I don't want to be a part of that side show. You know, when I speak up and I talk about something real, you know, I'm going to give them something real. You're you know speaking on side shows, right? I, uh, let's get into a side show. John Wiley Price and Dwayne Carraway. <laughs> My man. John Wally. Hey man, let's say um John Wally is a smart smart brother. John Wally Price is a real smart brother. Um they say, you know, I mean, I can go on and see it because everybody's saying it. They say that, you know, everybody knows John Wally Price has always been a big player, you know what I'm saying? So he might have been whatever he was doing with the brother's wife, you know what I'm saying? But um I think when them cameras came on, John Wiley Price knew what he needed to do, and he folded his hands and. Yeah, yeah. 
And so, you know, yeah. I would if I was in that situation and if I was brother, I would have been mad too. You know what I'm saying? I would have been I probably wouldn't have been as mad as John as I would have been my wife, but you know, John is my boy and oh you my people. But I've I've been in a situation similar to that, so I can understand how it could get heated, but I ain't picking sizes, but I'm just saying Team John while the prize. <laughs> Um, how, how you feel about the Dallas music scene right now? It's a good look right now. It's a good look right now. I'm finally starting to see some unity. Um, I'm finally starting to see some connections. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what nobody else tell you. Uh, I am the handler of radio. You know what I'm talking about? I do see a little bit more than what the average see. Yeah, you got people that want to keep up ruckus but look at their track record all the ones that want to keep up ruckus it's really not being even seen at all anyway so you got to have something to get you some attention you know what i'm saying i love my city man i've been here damn near all my life man and um this city um got some stupid stupid talent but sometimes we can be arrogant as fuck and we show more love to the outsiders than we do to the insiders. You know what I'm saying? And um, But we got some wonderful talent here. We got some great DJs here. We got to just learn, learn, like, our culture have to learn that everything starts before your music, before everything started at home. And if you think somebody owe you something, don't nobody owe you up. You know what I'm talking about? And we have to learn that in order to have a business, if you rapping, this is a business. Um, and a lot of my people, you know, we'd rather get something for free if we can. You know what I'm saying? We would Not rather get something for free if we can. <laughs> We don't mind going and go spend a couple of dollars on an eighth, but we can't sacrifice an eighth for a little bit of promotion of our, what we say we have so passionate for. That tells a difference by somebody who's, who really want it and who really don't want it. If you really want it, you don't mind putting some money, a little bit of money behind it. You know what I'm saying? You'll, you'll make sacrifices for the things that you really, really want. But my city, man, we, we good. Um, uh, we still got a few bad apples. We still got a few, you know what I'm saying, haters within, you know what I'm saying, because they hate they self. You know what I'm saying? When people start loving they self, man, they'll know that, you know, you got to be able to love each other, man. And that's what we missing. Everybody, everything I hear is hate, 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 hate. Hate is the new fad. You know what I'm saying? When we start loving ourselves, man, that's when we going to win, bro. We already winners, man. We God people, you know what I'm talking about? This is God given. We all we gotta do is show up. You know what I'm saying? That's all we gotta do is show up and show up and show out. And uh that's one of the first things that snatched me by my people, Hawatha, man. It's like I've been knowing Hawatha for years, but I've been, you know, when I knew Hawatha, he was promoting shows and getting there some money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> that's when that's when I knew Hawatha, you know what I'm saying? Real life three star. Real life three star, you know what I'm talking about? So, you know, that's from back in the day, back in the day. You know what I'm saying? So when I just got when I when I saw him show out, I'm like, man, y'all y'all didn't even hear the drop this boy sent me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like for real, man. It's like my city, man. We we doing our thing, man. Salute out to all the DJs. Salute out to all the artists that's really working. And just cause you going in the studio and you rapping and you giving your shit away for free, you ain't working, nigga. Work comes with a dollar amount at the end of the day. Goddamn, you go to work all week long at your job, and then at, at the end of the week when your boss man get ready to give you your paycheck, and uh, you say, all right, don't don't worry about that, boss. You can keep that up. We grinding, nigga. Get the hell on. <laughs> We trying to, hey man, everybody got to eat. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got bills to pay. And you know what I'm saying? If we keep saturating the game with some, hip hop is the only genre of music that give music away for free. And, and if everybody's doing it, now you got 
Super, now the superstars give away music for free. Shit. Hell, they superstars. They can do that. Joe Blow them, y'all still, y'all still trapping. Or whatever it is y'all doing, you know what I'm saying? Or going to work every day. Because now I, I notice there's a lot of artists that go to work every day. You know what I'm saying? It's like we starting to stand up a little bit more, man. We as a people have to start standing up a little bit more. But Dallas, salute out to you. I love you, baby. How you feel about um, artists complaining to the DJs about them spending their music? Hey, man. The only thing I got to say is nobody owe you nothing. DJs don't spend your music. It's either they ain't feeling it, and if they ain't feeling your music, then you gotta substitute. And a lot of times, a substitute is something as simple as, "Hey man, I'm gonna look out for you right here," or "Hey man, I'm gonna do something for you right there." Just don't look for it to be somebody gonna do something for you for free, because I've known DJs to spend music for free that they liked. If they don't like it, then you gotta give them some type of incentive or something to say, oh yeah, I, 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 I fuck with you a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, don't get mad if a DJ don't spend you for free. He just wasn't, that don't mean your shit wasn't jamming. If I don't like it, don't mean it's not jamming. If Joe Blow don't like it, don't mean it's not jamming. You know what I'm saying? It might be jamming to somebody else. So you gotta go take other avenues, man. It's called promotion and marketing. We don't have no sense of that. We think we just gonna rap and it's gonna pop off without any work. This marketing and promotion thing that I do is real work. It's like, it's a job what y'all doing behind that camera, man. Boys don't realize y'all what y'all doing now, y'all doing it to look out for the love. But I already know where it's going. Man, boys ain't working. These lights don't pay theyself. Well, you some lights back here. That mean it's a light bill. Oh yeah. <laughs> Real life street star. Real life street stars, man. We gotta learn to just know how to support each other. Business, business. That's what we don't do. We don't support each other enough, man. You know. But yeah, I love that. If your DJ ain't playing your music, man, go on and grease him up a little bit. He'll he'll get to you. <laughs> what? What's one advice, one thing that you would give advice to an up and coming rapper trying to do his thing out here? When you get ready to grab that pen, when you get ready to start putting your, whatever you finna put on paper or whatever you finna freestyle out of your mouth, have a message. Back in the day, man, before our times, you know, um, music was a message because we couldn't talk to the slave masters, you know. So we communicated through music. And there was a music had a message to let everybody know what was about to happen. Hey, we running tonight. Oh, we running tonight. Whatever the case they say. <laughs> we running tonight. So your music <laughs> have to have a message. Real life street stars. Hey man, real life street star, man. If your music ain't got no <laughs> message, man, tonight. you you really you you uh you 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 really started out wrong. I mean it's all right to be party, 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 party. Shout out to Big Chief. It's all right to party, party, party. But somewhere along the line, man, we gotta have a message. You know what I'm saying? And we have gotten far away from the message as possible. You got a lot of stuff that all you have to do is turn on your TV. There's a lot of information right there that you can talk about. Reality TV is fucking our heads up. Social media is fucking our heads up. You can be sitting next to the whole family at the house and everybody's on the phone. Stop. Take a look. Around right now. Everybody on their phone. Look. Take a look. Out of eight people in here, six of them is on their phone right now. On, and I'm not one of them. <laughs> <laughs> We're living in that world. So, youngster, you got a lot of information to talk about. Youngster, there's, there's so much going on. Youngster, hey, these polices don't give a damn. 
<laughs> Make that be your goddamn hook. I don't care what you do, man. You got to just have a message, man. And and if you got a message and if you can connect with somebody and it ain't always got to be about no drugs and about no killing, you know, we do enough of that to our own self as it is, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's all right. We get a gangster. I might make it pop off any minute if a nigga get out of line. But I'm trying to work. You know, I'm working on that, you know. You know, we all got that in us. But in, in, in everybody, there is Seth and there is also, you know how they used to say you got the two, got an angel on one side, devil on the other side. That's in everybody. It's a balance. And if you learn how to balance that, I got my Seth deep down. So my, my Seth right now, he kind of a little bit overbearing, or overbearing at times, you know. So when you controlling the... The, the the beast side of you and you let that good side of you really shine and you use that beast side of you for when somebody really try to handle you. You know what I'm saying? That's how life is intended to really be. You know what I'm saying? But most of us, we let that beast side really just control us fully. And I know some beasts out there, bro. Speaking, speaking of the beast side, um, did OJ do it? <laughs> I wasn't there. Have you seen the show? Watch episode number one. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, man, but I, I'm going to tell y'all some truth about that camera, man. Cotton told me a long time ago, man, when you turn that camera on, you, you, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see a, a different side of people when you turn that camera on. And when, um, but you got to be aware of the editing process. Yeah. You know, they not just going to. You know, they're not going to tell us exactly word for word what really happened. You got to you know, watch it. You, 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 you got to watch. You got to watch. He had blood in the vehicle. <laughs> hey, hey, get off hey, the juice, hey. man. We're going to leave the juice alone, man. God, man, damn. Hey, but I'm going to say this, man. I'm going to say this, man. They are on the juice. But man. check this out, man. On, on, on them for real, man. They've been, they been, like, taking all of our, um, everybody that if you can think about from Let's time. Let's speak on that. Let's speak on that. Everybody you can think about. Yeah, like Bill Cosby. Um, from the beginning of time, man, why Unsung Heroes is really all about black folks. Why we got to have an unsung hero. You know, all of the people that we've ever looked up to, and I ain't gonna even stunt, man. Scrappy was my dude until I seen him on reality TV. Man. And I'm gonna say that, like real, like, I, I remember when I met him at the car show, I can't even tell you what year it was, I met him at the car show, and he was my dude. Like, I, yeah. I, I could really rock with Scrappy. You know what I'm saying? Until I seen him on reality TV show. They take, like, bro, they fucking our images off. Yeah. And 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 I don't I question everything. I question everything. And sometimes that get me in a lot of trouble. Yeah. But that's me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I don't believe shit I see on TV and I don't listen to shit I hear. So um that's just how that's gonna go, man. I ain't gonna do no tripping with it, man. You know, I'm gonna keep it grinding, but Hey man, support to all my all my leaders, man. Everybody that came up before us, and everybody that paid the way for us to do what we doing right now, man. I salute you, man. And hey man, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep my mouth closed because I wasn't there and I don't know. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying. That's what that uh, is. One thing that I have noticed about you that you are big on uh, self knowledge, oh, awareness. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, let's 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 get into to that. I I I feel like uh, it needs to be heard. Um, Definitely. going back to what you said about Seth. Yeah. Can okay. you break down that knowledge a little uh, bit for those who don't know who Seth is? I mean, some of y'all may call him the devil. You know, that's um that's what this um see this this is why I lose a lot of my followers right here, but um and some of my camp they tell me maybe I should kind of withhold some of the information that I know because a lot of people ain't ready to uh, receive it, you know what I'm saying? But you know, when you go to church, they tell you they talk about the devil, and yeah. and then all of these, uh, whatever, Seth, you know what I'm saying? That's just the, that's a word, and they just stuck a picture with it to give you an image of what it is, but it's actually an energy. You know what I'm saying? We all have 
energies. Yeah. Everything about us is energy. When you die, your energy leaves your body, but it still exists. You know what I'm saying? So Seth is a, it was, it's within all of us. You know what I'm saying? We all have a um, a devilish. Remember when we was growing up, you was kids. Your your, your the parents were like, "Oh, you just being devilish." You yeah. know, you know. That was a lot of those a lot of those terms that came back from like back back way back. Way back, way back, and way we, black. We, we the, hey, Jack, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> As my partner wants to say, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, Jack, you know, yeah. part of that, you know, I used to be part of that live too. But you know, um, things change, people change, man. And Seth is gonna always be a part of all of us, man. You just gotta know how to conquer that. Once you know how to conquer that side, I haven't conquered it yet. I, I can't lie. Yeah. I can only admit. You know that I'm not perfect by far. I just strive to be. There's no such thing as perfect. It's only striving for perfection. You know what I'm saying? But that's all I can do. You know, is keep trying, keep grinding, man. And I think everybody, once you get to a point where you realize, hey, man, I've been there, done that, man. It's, it's, it's you know, it's time for us to do something else different. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then that's when we start reaching out to bosses, and we start reaching out to. Black Wall Street, you know what I'm talking about, bringing that back, you know, because that's where we lacking, you know. Our power ain't in, yeah, 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 fight the power, that be. That's cool. But if you really want to fight the power, hit them in their pocket. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we hit them in their pocket, man. <laughs> we'll get some act right real yeah, yeah. quick. I yeah. just take my black dollars and I'm going to say, hey, man, my black dollars is going to stay with black businesses. But black businesses, we got to step our game up. I can't lie, man. Y'all brothers make it hard for me, man. I ain't going to call out no name. I'm going to be easy on that. But, man, we got to be as um, when it come to um, when it come to the black dollar, man, we got to we got to step our game up because okay. sometimes – I'd rather go mess with some white boys. I'd rather go mess with some Chinese. Or I'd rather go mess with another race because I know at least my business is going to get taken care of right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, some, I ain't going to say our brothers don't do it, but it's a large amount of brothers, man. That's We was taught to cut corners. That's just how we was taught. I was raised to cut corners. We had to because we was in the slums. Yeah. You know, we had to cut corners. That was part of us. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, um keeping it keeping it um keeping it within is a is what we're gonna have to do, man, as a people. I know a lot of people don't wanna hear it. But y'all listening to it right now. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna give you some real, you know what I'm saying? But um yeah, salute out to everybody that's trying and salute out to, you know, the real message. Uh really, man. Hey, um, so I was scrolling through your book, man. I seen you was at the Live Oak with Crazy Bone. <laughs> Performing. Shout out Smooth Vega, man. That's my hey, I was Smooth Vega. I was supposed to be there, man. man. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, um, Touch on that. um you had you had somebody yeah. with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely had right somebody here, with you. Uh, Queen Trillion. Queen. Man. Queen. Queen Trillion is uh one of my new artists I'm working with. Queen, come on up. She's um she opened up for Crazy Bone, had a crazy, stupid show. You know what I'm saying? And um it was it was it was wonderful. You know, I was I was hype man slash security guard slash promoter slash a little bit of everything, you know what I'm saying, that night, you know what I'm saying? So Queen Trillion, you know, um this is my new artist. Y'all gonna get an interview with her real soon. I'm gonna let her introduce herself so she can she turn up on <laughs> Got the soldier, soldier yes. flag with him. Yes, what it do is your girl Queen Trillion, Queen of the Mash, just as the Mash stands for mindset, attitude, strength, and hustle. And that's what we are representing today, as you see on my shirt and his as well. You know what I'm saying? You can hit me up for all your Mash gear and just, you know, check us out. We uh, mashing. Oh, uh, really? Uh, oh, yeah, and also the Mash Tape Volume 1 is in streets now. So just dropped last week. Y'all got to excuse me. I'm kind of tired. We just did a show last night. Uh, we was at Lola's Saloon out there in Funky Town. And like he said just the other day, just opening up for Crazy Bone. That was a dope experience. But today I'm just here, you know what I'm saying, just um, supporting Big Bub to handle the radio. Uh, we as a team, you guys going to be seeing us do a lot of great things together, you know, kind of merging more so the – radio side with the with the female rap side you know but 
I'll save, you know, a lot of my, more of my story for my own interview. We're going to make it, you know, be about big buffs. So. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Already Queen Trillion is a beast, man. Y'all go catch her out. It's uh, at Queen Trillion uh, on Facebook. Uh, Tiffany M. Miles, you can't get to that page. But, uh, so um, what you want to do in order to contact me, you can like the Queen Trillion page on Facebook and space that out, Queen slash, I mean, it's Queen Space Trillion. And then also my personal page, which is my second page, is the Queen Trillion Miles page as well. On Instagram, Queen Trillion. On Twitter, Queen underscore Trillion. On Snapchat, Queen Trillion. So it's all kind of sounds the same, but it's little differences here and there. So just, you know, make sure you just kind of plug in with me and just follow me and just stay tuned because we have a lot of shit going on, man. It's getting crazy. So we just really excited, man. Just stay tuned. Match that. Mash that, mash that. You know what I'm talking about? Mash mode 101, man. Mash it to survive, man. Mash on that. You know what I'm talking about? Mash 101. <laughs> Already. Oh, yeah. Before we uh, get out of here, Wake Up Dallas. Wake, Wake up, up Dallas. Dallas. Wake Up Dallas. A new radio show broadcasting live from Richland College. It's a morning radio show called Wake Up Dallas. We going to, it's Wake Up. Dallas, you know what I'm saying. So you know, you know, we got a we 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 waking the city up, man. I got um uh, uh at charisma with a K um on Instagram. She is uh one of the co-hosts, and then we got a guest co-host uh, uh Divine. I think she go by at Divine. Uh, she's Divine on uh, Facebook. So yeah, man, we got a lot of big things coming up with the Wake Up Dallas movement. Um. It's just it will it's gonna surprise you. It's gonna be like we they they think it's a reg, they think it's a regular yeah. morning show, but it's a regular morning show. But it's it's for us. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be flipped yeah. up, man. Yeah. We are gonna yeah. check yeah, that turning, out. I'm turning up for like you know uh, we gonna give it's gonna be more informative uh, radio show. It's gonna be more of a talk radio show, and we are gonna have uh, we turn it on for uh, the underground. As always, you know, the Hammer yeah. Radio always turned on for the underground. So if you need, if you got any music that you'd like to submit to the Handler Radio at Richland College, make sure you do that at uh, the D-A Handler with an A, radio2900 at gmail.com. That's D-A-H-A-N-D-L-A, radio2900 at gmail.com, man. Submit your, your music there, man. If you need an interview, uh, we also doing uh, guest, uh, guest hosts. I ain't gonna even lie to y'all, it's gonna be $25 a show. You know what I'm saying? You come guest on the show, and we're gonna make the show all about you. Uh, if you wanna get you a little freestyle in, uh, we might have to work that out early on, but I can plug that in, man. We working, we grinding. Uh, salute out to uh, my people out in Houston, um, uh, Brazil. Uh, salute out to um, all the DJs that's working with me. DJ Papa Run, you know what I'm saying? Definition DJ Papa Run is the official DJ Papa for Run. the Handler Radio. Uh, salute out to you, big bro. Um, we got a lot working, got a lot going. Uh, salute out to my, my big bro, Cottonmouth Jesse. You know, Cottonmouth got a new jam with Jamie Foxx. Uh, I'm getting in behind uh, everything Cotton do. Uh, also, salute out to uh, my partner, T Cash. T Cash got the new. Uh, Part three, Fish Scale yeah, Three. Fish Scale Three. Um, if y'all sleeping on it, I suggest you wake up. Wake up, yeah. Dallas. You know what I'm talking real. about? Real life star. What we what we have real life three stars. You know what I'm yes, talking sir. about? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to wake you boys up on some realness. Y'all gonna get a little bit of education on the on the business of the entertainment. And uh we're gonna give y'all some in, insights. We also got the plugs on K one oh four. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna even share my links out with y'all, but y'all gonna get it, you know what I'm talking about, in just yeah. a minute. Website the handler radio at uh ww dot the handler Inc. com will be coming to you real soon. Just give us the time, man. It's already up, but I'm doing some working on it. So, you know, we just trying to make sure we get that shit together, man. Well, man, we salute you, big bug. You Amen. are a real life street star. Amen. Appreciate you. <laughs>